Doing Justin here. Thought we were missing a jazz riff, so um, we're doing today. So what? Which is a song by Miles Davis um, from the album Kind of Blue. Um, the riff is played on bass on the original one, bass and piano. There's no guitar in in the uh, quartet that played or quintet that played on uh, Kind of Blue, the Miles Davis record. Um, but it's commonly played by guitar players. Uh, Larry Carlton plays it on his album Last Night. Uh, which is what triggered it, but there's a version of, uh, I think a jazz guy called Ronnie Jordan did it. It's quite a few people have covered this tune. Okay, so the riff here is starting with the first finger in the fifth fret of the fifth string, followed by the third finger in the seventh fret of the fourth string, followed by the first finger sliding from the fourth fret to the fifth fret, then the third finger in the seventh fret of the third string, Followed by first finger in the fifth fret of the second string, and finishing with fifth fret to seventh fret on the third string, first finger, third finger. Again. Notice the rhythm, it's not straight. Straight would be. kind of a swing. Then. Now this is, it's kind of an E minor 11 I guess would be its proper name. It comes from the school of harmony from a guy called Bill Evans, a piano player who made these chords built in fourths, which is here. I'll do a whole lesson on these at some point because they're really interesting. It's basically an upper perfect fourth from E, upper perfect fourth from A, upper perfect fourth there from D, but then he's added a third on the top. That's the third. And uh, that gives you this kind of funky chord. That's the E minor, followed by the D minor. D minor 11, whatever. So the riff. Second time it just goes da bum at the end. So just roll that third finger. Same as the first time. First finger sliding up to the fifth fret three times, then seventh fret, third string, seventh fret, fourth string, and that's your eight bar sequence. Semitone. F to E flat. Then we're back again to D minor. play around with it a bit there and I left out one of the chords just because it sounds kind of funky. 
Once you've learned the main theme, you probably want to start learning to improvise on it. Now it's a modal tune, so over the parts where it's got the D minor, this bit, you'd be using the D Dorian mode, which is the same as C major scale, but you kind of think D. So it is exactly the same. The notes in C major scale and the notes in D Dorian mode, exactly the same. Just, and you don't have to start on D, but you want to think D, because you don't want to just play the notes thinking C, because you're playing over a D minor. Modes are kind of funny like that, you know. Don't worry about it too much for now. Just let your ears do the work. Play the notes of C major, but make sure you listen to what you're doing and let your ears tell you what are the good notes to play over the chord, you know. That's the easiest way to learn modes is to do it by listening, not by thinking. Um, so you've got this uh, 16 bars of D, or C, D Dorian, C major scale, and then it moves up for 8 bars, moves up to the E flat minor chord, so you're going to play E flat Dorian, which is the same as D flat major scale, and you'd use that for 8 bars. And then you'd go back to the D minor for another eight bars. And then it starts again at the beginning um, for another 16 bars of D. And the trick with this tune really is kind of knowing where you are and where the, where the bass line's moving, especially if the bass is walking. So in, in a jazz context where you've got... Whatever, I'm not very good at walking bass, but that kind of thing. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell where on earth you are because you, where it's changed. You know, you should be able to tell, right? But if you, if there's, if you're just playing guitar and bass and drums or whatever, it can be awkward. So part of the trick is making sure that you know where you are or that you've got a cue with your mate to to make sure that you know where you are. If you're jamming, watch the other person. That's the simple way around it, you know. Um, so uh, that's a, that's a really good fun thing. Also, with this one, a really great thing is to try doing a bit of transcribing. Um, the original version by Miles Davis on the Kind of Blue album uh, has a fantastic solo on it. But it, Miles Davis was a trumpet player. But you can work out the trumpet line on the guitar, and it's a lovely, lovely line. Uh, the whole solo is, is beautiful. Not particularly difficult, very spacious, but really, really spot on. If you want to afterwards, there's a John Coltrane solo as well on saxophone, which is a little bit harder to work out, but it's still way possible. Um, and that'll give you a kind of a good insight on how to play um, using this. Um, another little thing that you might want to check out is a song called Impressions, which is a John Coltrane song, which uses the same chord sequence, with, but with a different melody. Uh, I guess so you make the money on it because you can't copyright a chord sequence, so he wrote a new melody and therefore collects all the royalty payments on it. Clever boy. Um, and that has, because it has the same chord sequences, it's the same concept, it's a modal song. Um, there's a great version of Impressions by Wes Montgomery, the guitar player, jazz guitar player, and he, that's got some wonderful licks in it that you might want to check out as well. So a lot, a lot of things to learn in, in uh, So What. Um, so, and, and of course the Larry Carlton version on Last Night, of course, that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful solo. Um, just a little bit weird. He starts off playing a diminished scale, which is really outside straight away. So it, it gets a little bit complicated to figure out what he's doing harmonically. Um, you know, most of it's just beautiful, regular Dorian stuff. But there's a few bits where you just go, wow, where has he picked those notes from? I digress, and I'm probably talking too much. Sorry if I'm boring you. Um, hope that's made sense and you enjoy this little venture into jazz in our riff series. See you for another lesson, riff or lick sometime very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.